The English expression today has to do with monsters, a hero, and the triumph. Surprising origins of English expressions. We're looking today at the story of Odysseus. Odysseus, who is the hero of the story, faces a dangerous journey sailing through the Strait of Messina, which is a waterway separating Italy and Sicily. Odysseus is a hero that was created, who was created by Homer. Homer is famous for writing the Iliad and the Odyssey, two very famous poems from ancient Greek times. Now, our hero, Odysseus, sailing on the strait, in the Strait of Messina, had to face two monsters. Scylla, who is a sea monster with many heads on the one side, and Charybdis. Charybdis is a very dangerous whirlpool on the other side. To get to the other end of the Strait of Messina, Odysseus had to pass by these two monsters, a very dangerous uh, uh, achievement. Now, Scylla and Charybdis, the two monsters, of course, today we don't believe in monsters, but we still use the expression such as, if you are the project manager on a tight deadline, where your team is already exhausted, but you have to decide between asking them to work overtime, risking burnout, or missing the deadline altogether. Then you find yourself between Scylla and Charybdis. Or you are a student and you are preparing for your final exam. You have two major exams on the same day and you must decide if you will focus more on the one and possibly fail the other or divide your time and risk performing poorly on both. Then you are caught between Scylla and Charybdis. So if you use, if you find yourself in a tight situation today, you can remember the journey of Odysseus and how he had to navigate the Strait of Messina to successfully get between Scylla and Charybdis. Good luck. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day. Thank you.